Hello members of the Social Justice Committee. Welcome to our Brief Consensus 101 educational video. Hi everyone. The following video demonstrates how to use a consensus process to reach a decision on a hypothetical agenda item. Imagine the following scenario. A subcommittee is working on revising our report and recommendations to President Van Zandt on social justice. At the meeting, the subcommittee members propose we make a decision about re-engage the president around our report. Our subcommittee has been working on revising our report to the president. We'd like to have the committee approve the revised version with the new data added. That way we can re-engage the president around this revised report. Our proposal includes two specific decisions. First, should we re-engage the president on this report? Second, if yes, will the committee approve the proposed structure and additions to the report? We have been talking to some visual artists about how to visualize some new statistics to include, and we thought it would be cool to also include some quotations about social justice from some students, staff and faculty, as a reminder. We sent out a draft of the proposed structure and changes to all committee members last week. We would like to begin by opening discussion on this proposal to reach out to the president. I think the draft report looks good, and I don't have any suggested changes. A quick side note about process. For the sake of time, this isn't the time to express your support for the proposal, but is instead a time to raise discussion points that might impact or changes the proposal. For example, I'm concerned that he still hasn't read our original proposal, which might explain why he hasn't responded to it. I have some reservations, which include a lack of some mechanism of accountability from the president to this committee. What guarantees do we have that he will be any more responsive to this updated report than the last one we sent him? I agree. It seems like if we are going to follow up with him, we need to know if he has really read the report and had time to think about our recommendations. If not, what should we do? It seems like we need to make sure he has read it first. Does anyone else have other comments on the revised report proposal? I think the draft report also looks good, but I agree that including updated data that can be visualized would be great. If it's not too hard to do, I think we should do it. I think the data visualization is a good idea, but won't it take too long? We can work with the designer using some of our newly available data so it shouldn't take that much longer to add it into the report. That the visualized statistics need to reflect a range of issues like gender, race and ethnicity, but also area of expertise and social justice related research. If we can easily do data visualization I would support that, especially since we have so many great designers here in Parsons. I agree better visual will make the report stronger. We can run the final visuals past the committee once they're done. Okay, can we test for consensus? Are there any blocks to the proposal? No. Okay, any stand decides? I still have some concerns. If anyone stands aside, they have the option of saying why. Doing so makes it easier for the group to take any concerns into consideration, but they are not required to do so. One way to think about the difference between stand asides and blocks is to agree that blocks are made not for personal reasons but if anyone thinks the proposal on the table is in conflict with the mission or state's goals of the committee. If people have personal concerns, this would be more appropriate to express through a stand aside rather than a block. Remember, the block should not be used arbitrarily. Consensus relies on people to make a good faith effort to develop a proposal that works for most people. Okay, I still see a few people standing aside. Can we spend five more minutes to try and address your concerns? I think we should engage him, but I would also like us to add to our decision-making process a discussion about timing. In that case, I would like to propose that we add a discussion about timing to the existing proposal. I'm in favor of the amendment to the proposal. I agree with what she just said. We need to know when we want to meet with him as that will influence our timeline for finishing revision to the draft report. I think if we ask the provost to help make this report a priority for the president, that will address my concerns about some mechanism to hold the president accountable for now.
I would add that we should also let him know we expect a meeting with him to talk about his response to the report in a reasonable amount of time after we submit it to him. If the president is still not responsive, we can consider other actions to take as a committee. Okay, it seems like we may be close to consensus now. As a reminder, we have a friendly amendment to the proposal to include timing for when we will reach out to the president, as well as approving the draft structure and additions. Are there any blocks? No. Okay, any stand decides? I'm in favor of the revised proposal. I'm in favor of the revised proposal. I am in favor of the revised proposal. I am in favor of the revised proposal. Okay, it looks like we have consensus on approving the updated report to the president. Okay, let's move to the next piece of the amended proposal, timing. The facilitator can again propose a time limit for initial discussion. Once a proposal is on the table, the discussion process repeats itself just like before. Here is my suggested proposal around timing. The committee should reach out to the president in the next two weeks. At that time, we will inform him that we will be submitting a revised proposal and report concerning social justice issues at the new school. How about we meet with him one month after we give him the report? I'm worried a month is too long, and it might get lost in other university politics. And don't forget about break coming up soon too. Does two weeks seem like enough time between when we submit the revised report to him and when we ask for a meeting with him? I think that is enough time. If we give him a month or more, it could be two meetings or longer before we can discuss his response as a committee. By that time, the semester will almost be over. I think sooner is better. So what I hear is that we want to give the president enough time to read the report, but also that we don't want to wait too long to meet with him again. Are there other points on this? Okay, I'd like to restate the proposal and test for consensus. We will ask for a meeting two weeks after we deliver the final updated report to President Van Zandt. Are there any blocks? No. Okay, any stand decides? I'm in favor of the revised proposal. I am in favor of the revised proposal. I'm in favor of the revised proposal. I am in favor of the revised proposal. I'm in favor of the proposal. I am in favor of the revised proposal. Okay, it looks like we have consensus, and the motion passes. And there you have it. That's a quick example of how a consensus process might work to approve report changes in a course of action with President Van Zandt on social justice at the new school. Thanks for watching. Hey, check out this video someone sent me. What's it about? Consensus hand signs. So, at the New York City Student Assembly, at the New York City Student Assembly, we've adopted, we've adopted consensus method, consensus method, which seems to be, which seems to be the spirit, the spirit of the democrat, direct democratic process, the direct democratic process of the Occupy Wall Street movement, of the Occupy Wall Street movement. You probably already know these things. You probably already know these things. But I'm going to go over them. But I'm going to go over them. This is Twinkle Fingers. This is Twinkle Fingers. It means you're happy. It means you're happy. And you agree. And you agree. This is Downward Twinkle Finger. This is Downward Twinkle Finger. It means no. 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 This means, okay, sorta, I'm on the fence. Okay, sorta, I'm on the fence. This is what we use. This is what we use to communicate with one another. To communicate with one another. Because we like twinkling. Because we like twinkling. Um, this, this is a point of information. It's a point of information. You can use this. You can use this to provide factual information. To provide factual information. As long as it's germane. As long as it's germane. To what someone else is speaking about. To what someone else is speaking about. It is not to express an opinion. It is not to express an opinion. Only fact. Only fact. Um, this, this means speak up. Means speak, speak up. up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You use that. You use that. You can't hear somebody. You can't hear somebody. This, this is a point of process. It's a point of process. You use this. You use this. You think somebody's not following process. You think somebody's not following process. Or if they're getting away from the agenda. Or if they're getting away from the agenda. Which we will go over very soon. Which we will go over very soon.